So the one on the left is the warehouse one. Again, don't get it confused with the nearest neighbor method. It has nothing to do with the nearest neighbor method. I just happen to use the same graph. So for the pentagram on the left, looking at all those weights, which one's the smallest weight? A to B, 90. Good. Now looking at the remaining weights, which one's the smallest weight? There's a smaller one. D to C, 120. I don't think highlighting a number is a good idea. That's okay. Looking at the remaining weights, D to W, 140. Looking at the remaining weights, A to C, 150. Okay, comment. One, back to the definition of a tree, because a minimal spanning tree is a spanning tree is a tree. All right. One of the properties of a tree, if you have n vertices, you need n minus 1 edges. Well, we have five vertices, so we need four edges. So we're done. Two, if we add one more edge, no matter where we add it, it will create a circuit. So we couldn't add one more edge if we wanted to. So like, for instance, if we added AW, that would create the circuit ACDWA, the very big circuit. So let's add it up. What is 90 plus 120 plus 140 plus 150? 290, 3A, 400, 400? You got 500? 500? Uh, yeah, helps if I carry my one. Yeah, so the total weight is 500. Questions. All right, that was the nice one. Let's do the not so nice one. So looking at the graph on the right, notice the smallest weight is 2. But can we pick the 2? No, because a loop is a circuit. Wah, 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 wah. So now we look for the next smallest number. What's the next smallest number? There's five. There's a bunch of them. In fact, we have one here, one here, one here, one here. Anywhere else? That's about it. According to step uh, one, we can pick any one at random. So, do you mind if I dealer's choice here? Who's my favorite? You are. B, C. Step two says pick an edge with a weight greater than or equal to the previous weight. Well, the important part here is the equal to. We can pick another edge that has a five. That's fine. So which one do you want to pick? B to F? Sure. That's cool. We keep continuing. Well, we can still pick another one that has a 5. But we can't take it because it's got a loop. C to G. That's cool. But we cannot pick FG. Why? It would make a circuit. So we're done with the fives. So now we go with the next smallest weight. What's the next smallest weight? 
6. We have 1 6, right? AD. All right, now what? A would be the next smallest weight. One of these eights we definitely can't pick. We can't pick CF because that would make a circuit. CE, it brings bad things to life. True. What else could we pick? AC. Do we have to keep on keeping on? No, we're done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertices, so we need six edges. All right, I see six. We're good. So the sum, we have three fives. We had one six and two eights. Thank you. So 21 and six, hey. 37? 37? 20, right? 37? Right. It's okay. But as far as there may be multiple answers, well, instead of BF, we could have picked FG, or we could have picked, instead of BF, we could have picked um, CG. So the fives could have rotated. That would have been fine. In fact, if we did not pick BC and we did pick FG, we could have picked, nope, that would be a, that would be a circuit. I lied to you. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. Yeah, so CF has no, no shot. What are you going to do? Hooray. So that's a minimal spanning tree.